Hey, I wanted to continue today on a series of videos I'm doing on the gamma function. And this will include some unusual factorials because what the gamma function will do for us is it extends the concept of factorial. We're used to looking at the factorial for positive integers and zero, but we can extend that. So let's go over the gamma function right now. Okay, so I have this formula for the gamma function over here on the right. And what this does is it actually d defines the gamma function in terms of an integral with this first equation. But we can use this to extend the factorial to um, fractions and other negative numbers. But this is actually pretty useful for extending the concept of the factorial. So let's actually look at our example now of half factorial using this second formula. And we'll just notice if you look at the gamma function of 3 halves, well, 3 halves minus 1 factorial is going to give us 1 half factorial. So what we're looking for here, this is actually the same thing as gamma of 3 halves. And so what we can do is just write this in terms of an integral and see if we can solve that integral. So we're looking at, it's going to be 0 to infinity. We'll put this in terms of x. So 3 halves minus 1, and so we're going to have x to the 1 half, e to the minus x, dx. And so what I'm going to do is we're just going to try to work out this integral using integration techniques. So let's get rid of this thing here. So to start on this, I'm going to make a u substitution. I'm going to call u equal to this squared x right here, and therefore x is going to be equal to u squared. Then taking the derivative, dx is going to be 2u du. And let's just go ahead and substitute. So we'll plug in, take an infinity and plug it in. Square root of infinity is infinity. Square root is 0 here. It's just going to give us a 0. Square root of x is going to be u. We're going to have e to the minus u squared. And then our dx is just going to be this 2u du. Okay, we'll just multiply the 2u times the u, and we have 2u squared e to the minus u squared du. See, at this point, the um, u squared exponent here is a little difficult to deal with, but what I can do is let's use integration by parts and see if we can clean this up. And before, so I want to use integration by parts on this, but one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, what I'm going to do is write 2u squared. I'm going to break this up and write it as minus u times minus 2u. And for integration by parts, I like to use the DI method or tabular integration. So we're going to have two columns here. We're going to have a D to differentiate, I to integrate. And then the reason I did this here is because I want to split this up. I'm going to group my minus 2u with the e to the minus u squared. I did that because minus u squared, the derivative of that is going to be minus 2u. So I'm just setting up this integral. And then we'll have this minus u over here to differentiate. Okay, then I'm going to take my derivative of minus u, it's just going to be minus 1. Integrating this, like I said, you could do a quick um, like substitution, we could, call it, we could do like a quick like t substitution, but I think we can just do that integral in our head and see that this integral is going to be e to the minus u squared. Okay, and then part of our solution is going to be on the diagonal here, so let's just write that out. We're going to have minus u e to the minus u squared, evaluated from 0 to infinity. Here, minus times minus, that's going to cancel and give us a plus. And then we're going to have an integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus u squared. But this piece here, this is just the Gaussian integral. Okay, and I've done a few other videos. I can provide a link. So we'll just use this known value for the Gaussian integral of square root of pi over 2. Okay, now what do we do with this piece over here? So let's just evaluate. So if we, if we evaluate this at infinity, you'll notice the exponential is much bigger. So regardless that we have an infinity in this u here, this piece is going to zero, so that whole infinity piece is going to zero. And then plugging in zero in front here, when we plug a zero in for the u, the e, this piece is just one, zero times one, so that's another zero. So this whole thing here is going to zero, and therefore this integral is just gonna be this piece, which is square root of pi over two. Just one other thing I wanna go over real quick before we finish. We'll use this last formula here, so if we can write if we have gamma of 3 halves here, well, we'll notice that we can use this formula and write it as 1 half times gamma of 1 half. Well, I just did a previous video, and I'll provide a link in the description, where I found the value of gamma of 1 half. This value is actually square root of pi. So for our value of gamma 3 halves, it's 1 half times square root of pi, or square root of pi over 2. And we notice that's the same value we found. The only reason I show that is just because I just want to make it clear that every time you see one of these things, you don't have to do the whole integral. You can just use a previous value you found. Like if we know that we if we know that gamma of one half is square root of pi, 
we could just do this kind of thing and find the answer real quick. So we'll wrap it up there. I have a quiz, gamma function quiz, and I can provide a link in the description to that. And then also, like I said, there's a playlist. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on a few different, maybe not a bunch, but like four or five on the gamma function. And I'll just provide a link to all that. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.